Liz! Sean! Mum! Hi! Um, I was going to call you. Are, are, are you okay? Yes. Yeah, what, are you sure? Some men tried to get into the house. Well, are they still there? I'm not sure. We've shut the curtains. Well, did you try the police? Well, I thought about it. Well, are you okay? Did they hurt you? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Mum? Well, they were a bit bitey. Mum, have you been bitten? No, but Philip has. Oh, okay. Has she been bitten? No, Philip has. Oh, okay. Listen, Mum, what sort of state is he in? Oh, he's fine. Bit under the weather. I see. What's the deal? We may have to kill my stepdad. Listen, Mum, sit tight, okay? You're not safe there. We're coming over. I don't want to cause a fuss. We're coming to get you, Barbara! <laughs> so, what's the plan? Right. We take Pete's car, we drive over to Mum's, we go in, we take care of Philip. I'm so sorry, Philip. Then we grab Mum, we go over to Liz's place, pull up, have a cup of tea, and wait for all this to blow over. Why have we got to go to Liz's? Because we do. She dumped you. I have to know if she's all right. Why? Because I love her. All right, gay. I'm not staying there, though. Why not? If we hole up, I want to be somewhere familiar, I want to know where the exits are, and I want to be allowed to smoke. OK. Take Pete's car, go round Mum's, go in, deal with Philip. Sorry, Philip. Grab Mum, go to Liz's, pick her up, bring her back here, have a cup of tea, and wait for all this to blow over. Perfect. No, 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 wait, we can't bring her back here. Why not? Well, it's not exactly safe, is it? Mm, yeah. The state of it. Where's safe? Where's familiar? Where can I smoke? <laughs> Take car, go to Mum's, kill Phil. Sorry. Grab Liz, go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for all this to blow over. How's that for a slice of fried gold? Yeah, boy! <laughs> Chance be the new policeman. Police officer, yes. I'm Nicholas Angel. I'm Roy Porter. This is my wife, Mary. Mary. <laughs> Welcome to Sanford. If anything you need, just let us know. Thank you. Could I borrow your newspaper? It's not ours, though. We're <laughs> not big fans of the local fish forever, are we, Mayor? They listed her age as 55. When I'm actually 53. 53. <laughs> <sighs> Find a lager, please, Mary. Right, you are, my love. Excuse me. What? When's your birthday? 22nd of February. What year? Every year. Get out. Hey! When's your birthday? Uh, 8th of May, 1969. You're 37. Yeah. Get out. When's your birthday? Uh... Out! Oh, uh, is there a problem, officer? Yes, there is, Mr. Porter. It would appear a number of your patrons are underage. Well, you would have made me a month or two south of proper, but if they're in here, it stops them getting into trouble out there. Yeah, the way we see it, it's all for the greater good. The greater good? Well, that's as may be. But the law's the law, and they'll have to go. Oh. Another cranberry juice? I'm fine, thank you. Now then, uh, whose round is it? It's mine. 
Mr. Shepard? Shep? Is it Mr. Shepard? Why don't you kids join me? You look like you could do with a drink. Now, let's have a little chat about your future, shall we? Hmm? Uh, Mr. Shepard? Please, call me Guy. All right. Guy. <laughs> Are you a robot? Does anyone know what robot means? I, yeah, I do. Yes, Gary. Uh, it means slave. Oh, very good, Gary. Yeah. Are you a robot, sir? No, Peter, of course I'm not a robot. Uh, sir? Yes, Stephen. But well, you're on their side, though. This is not about sides, Stephen. It's not about shirts versus skins. It's about working together as one team. I know it may seem a bit weird and a little bit scary, but please believe me, it's quite the opposite. They're here to help, to straighten us out, to prepare us for the big league. They've seen something in us, a potential. There's a vast community of worlds up there, living together, peacefully, cooperatively. And guess what? They want us along for the ride. Pretty cool, eh, gang? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, they're not here to harm us? Oh, far from it, oh man, no. They're here to help. I'm not saying they're afraid to get tough. I've certainly had to get tough with you in my day. And what one amongst you wouldn't thank me for it? Hmm? In some respects, we're a lot like teachers. Stern, yes. A little frightening, but it's all for our betterment. So. What do you say? We all go somewhere and talk about this properly. That wasn't properly? Well, I think it's pretty clear, guys. What Mr. Shepard is trying to say is that... Look! Andy! What the fuck? Yes, Andy. What the fuck? WT! Everything all right, Ellie? Or do I call you Eloise? Like the old song. I don't know that song. How do you know my name? I make it my business to know all the pretty girls around here. All their problems. Always have done. You smoke, don't you, love? No. Oh, must be thinking of some other blonde. Anyway. Be well. Was Hansie bothering you? Hansie? Yeah. Man's like an octopus. Carlo says he was the right ladies' man back in the day. Probably thinks he has a shot with you. Do you believe in spirits? What kind of a question is that? That brown stuff pays your wages. I mean, do you believe in ghosts? Ghosts? No. Why? Are you scared down here? If this place is haunted by anything, it's the good times. When it's empty, all I hear is the laughs. Every gangster, every copper, every red-faced lush has been in here. And all those high spirits have soaked into the walls. You could probably get drunk on just that. Yeah. Ellie, I love you, girl. You fit right in. But you can't sleep here. <laughs> 